Some of the biggest movies ever have mistakes that the editors missed, and once you notice, you can't not notice. From Disney animation to the most action-packed blockbusters, they all have hidden fails that can catch even the biggest fans off guard. Today, we're going to be going over the biggest editing fails ever, the funniest times that editors make mistakes. First up, four-wheel drive to Mordor. But wait, you say, how on Middle Earth can anyone drive to Mordor? There aren't any cars in Lord of the Rings, are there? Well, according to J.R.R. Tolkien, there aren't any. However, if you watched the Lord of the Rings movie in the cinema, you might know better. The original Lord of the Rings movie came out in theaters in 2001, and sharp-eyed fans noticed one little mistake right near the beginning of the film. There's a rather famous scene where Sam and Frodo are leaving the Shire together, and Sam remarks that if he steps over the border of one field, it will be the farthest he has ever been away from home. It's one of those scenes that the fans of the franchise hold dear in their hearts, as everyone knows knows that this is the moment these two characters begin to face danger and grow to change as hobbits. However, the magic in the moment is spoiled a little by a car driving by in the background. The roads behind the filming locations must not have been closed, and the car went unnoticed by the editors who were working on seamlessly changing reality into one of the most famous fantasy realms of all time. The car was successfully edited out of the version that was released on DVD, although some fans were annoyed that they could not prove they had spotted it in the first place. Have you ever seen an accidental car? Next up is the cowboy on the Black Pearl. Okay, so you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Obviously, the movie is full of swashbuckling pirates, salty wenches, burly sailors, and impeccably dressed royal guards. But did you see any cowboys? No, we thought not. We didn't notice any at first, but then we looked again and spotted someone who looked rather out of place. There aren't any cowboys listed in the credits of the Pirates of the Caribbean and the Curse of the Black Pearl, and this is because he's not supposed to be there. This is definitely one of those times that the editors made a goof and included something they were not supposed to. In fact, if you look closely, you can see him for yourself. Once Captain Jack Sparrow, flawlessly played by screen legend Johnny Depp, approaches the wheel of his beloved ship, the Black Pearl, and rouses his crew into action. If you look closely over his left shoulder, you can see a man wearing a pale colored cowboy hat, looking off the deck of the ship out to sea. The man is not actually a real cowboy, but he appears to be a crew member who accidentally got in the shot. Unfortunately, the editors did not notice him, and the man and his hat are in the film for all to see. Next on our list, Black Panther's sneakers. We're talking about footwear now? Well, these aren't just any sneakers. They're made from incredibly advanced nanotech in the most secret labs of Wakanda. Shuri, the genius behind lots of the jaw-dropping tech featured in the movie, shows her superhero brother the latest piece she has been working on. The shoes materialize on T'Challa's feet, as Shuri explains the amazing benefits of wearing these sneakers in battle. It turns out that the clue is in the name, as the shoes absorb sound, allowing the wearer to effectively sneak up on his opponents in battle or silently infiltrate enemy strongholds. However, this is where the editing goof comes in. With lots of the battle sequences helping along with CGI, it would make sense for the editors to simply not add the sound effects of Black Panther's footsteps into the scenes. But the editors actually added the sounds of his steps into every scene. Whenever he was trained transformed into his Black Panther nanotech outfit, he should have been running, sprinting, and jumping with graceful silence. However, you could hear every step and landing perfectly clearly. Someone on the editing team clearly forgot the scene they had done earlier. Now, the Velociraptor's hand in Jurassic Park. So, everyone knows that out of all the dinosaurs we see in Jurassic Park, the raptors are the smartest and most inventive. They can communicate with one another to hunt, solve complex tasks, and even open doors. However, they do this with with their incredible brain power and very dexterous claws, not hands. However, there is one time we see a velociraptor with a human hand. The Jurassic Park movies are famous for using a blend of real models along with their legendary CGI, which means that there were frequently life-sized dino models on set. Many of the dinosaur shots you see on screen are real-life models, and this includes the world-famous scene with the raptors chasing the two children in the kitchen. Obviously, a lot of the shots of the raptors here are added with CGI as the movements are far too complex to accomplish with models. But not all of the sequences are digitally added. The close-up shots of the raptors opening the door are made with physical effects, and the shot of the dinosaurs stepping into the kitchen is real as well. If you look really closely at this point, you can see one of the puppeteer's hands is placed on the back of the raptor model as it steps through the door. This is most likely to stabilize the dinosaur model so it does not fall over. Once you notice this, it's hard not to spot, as you don't often see a vicious carnivorous 
carnivorous man-eating velociraptor with a hand on its butt. Next up, an entire camera crew in Jaws. So this one is not technically a mistake, but it is definitely funny enough to put in the list. Once the community of Amity knows that a massive killer shark is loose in the surrounding ocean, a reward is put out for the capture and killing of the beast. This riles up the entire community into action, and dozens of people take to the sea in boats to try and claim the reward money. Obviously, the story follows our crew of three aboard the Orca. As they track down the elusive beast, the camera shows them on their boat, sailing away amongst the crowd. However, we then get a shot of the crowd of boats sailing out of the harbor, and the boat full of the camera crew is clearly visible. The crew just adds to the business of the harbor, and you can't really see all the camera equipment from the back anyway. It definitely adds to the scene, and it's one of those things that you don't really know unless you know. Now we have Cinderella and her changing sleeves. We know that Cinderella has a team of tiny mouse tailors to help her make emergency changes to her outfits, so this might explain what happened at the end of the movie. During the last scene, when Cinderella is getting married to Prince Charming, she's seen leaving the church and heading into her awaiting chariot in a gorgeous billowing wedding gown with long sleeves. She hurries into the carriage, and the newly married couple share a sweet kiss. And as the new princess leans in view of the window, we get a glimpse at her dress again. This time, it looks totally different. For a start, it is a much brighter white than the dress we saw her in earlier. Not only is the color completely different, but instead of wearing long white sleeves, Cinderella's wedding dress now has cute off-the-shoulder capped sleeves. Is this the work of her cute little mouse assistants, or is this just a continuity mistake that the editors failed to spot? So far, the fashion faux pas has been in the movie for over 70 years, so they obviously don't mind it too much. Last on our list, we have Harry Potter and the Visible Cameraman. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the school is host to a dueling club put on by Gilderoy Lockhart and Severus Snape. The two teachers get the watching students excited into a frenzy at the thought of being able to use magic to fight one another, and some pretty amazing movie magic is used to make the spells come to life. Everything seems to be going according to the rules of wizarding law, even when Harry pulls out his wand and sends Draco spinning through the air. The camera shows Draco landing flat on the table, and the crowd of students in front of him looks on, their mouths open in surprise. However, nobody seems to have noticed the cameraman kneeling down amongst the students, wearing muggle clothes, no less. And the giant camera he's using makes him even more obvious. Once you know he's there, you really can't miss him. We can't believe nobody noticed this when the scene was being edited, and it's still been left in the movie years later for fans to spot. Talk about a magical editing fail. That's all for today, guys. Which one of these is your favorite editing fail? Let us know in the comments down below.